us pray. Oh, we do thank you that your spirit is here with us today. We thank you, Lord, for those who have joined us on the web, that you will bless and heal and touch each one of them, O oh Lord. Father, you are a God of love, a God of joy, a God of peace. And we thank you for that, Lord. We pray for those who need healing, that you will heal them, Lord, and touch their lives. To those, Lord, who are feeling sad or lonely, who have got no one, Lord, to talk to, that they, Lord, can talk to you. Father, open up their eyes. Let them see you. See you as, your, as their friend, their saviour, their Lord, their God, their majesty on high. They're all in, that you are, they're all in, all Father, let just touch them, Lord, and be with them, so that they will not be alone, that they will have a friend there with them. Lord, we pray, Lord, for those who are in trouble, those who have, known, have seen just devastation everywhere, Father. We pray for the Gaza and Israel. We pray that there will be peace, Lord, within that land. We pray for all the Christians in the Gaza, Lord, who have lost homes, lost family, lost, lost their faith, Father, that you will restore that faith to them, that they will restore everything that they have lost, Father. That, Lord, let them know that you have not abandoned them, that you are still there, you are still their God, and that you still care for each and every one of them and love them so much. It's the same, Lord, with Ukraine and Russia, Lord. So many people have abandoned their homes, so many people have abandoned you, Lord, because they think that you don't care. But we know different, Lord. Christians around the world know different, that you have not abandoned them, that you are still, that they are still in your heart, and that you are, Lord, working out a plan to, to help them and to build their lives up once again. Father, we pray that you will just help each and every one that, that is in need today. We think, Lord, of the Princess of Wales, and we pray that you will touch her life, Lord, as she battles the demons that are within her, Lord, the cancer, that it will not, Lord, spread, but, Lord, that you will provide a way of healing her. Lord, there are so many atrocities in this world. Some, Lord, we know, some we do not know. But you are a God of righteousness, and you know, Father, more than what we do, and how these atrocities can be overcome by believing in you, trusting in you, and knowing that you are our God and will never leave us nor forsake us. So Father, be with Pastor Peter now as he brings the word of God, that Lord, we can go out of this building rejoicing and be glad in the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.